Love you so much. Hey, Major. Look good. Dude, you gotta get in shape like that dude, man. He's jacked. Oh, he's such a fucking cunt face. He's fucking diesel, dude, for an old man. That's crazy. He looks like Conan. You gotta get ripped like that. No, I don't want to have anything to do with him. I don't want to be like him. You don't want to be like those abs? No, he doesn't have a fucking clue. Why are you trying to be such a kiss ass to him? Because he's fucking diesel, dude. It's like a saddlebag on steroids. It's like He-Man's grandfather. Dude, that guy's Jack Nicholson. Fucking Jackie Chan. He's Hugh Jackman. Stop being like that, he's not Hugh Jackman. I'm not being gay about him, dude, he's jacked. Yes or no, he's not jacked? No, I don't look at my dad that way. I bet he can still fuck good. Oh, yuck. How much does he jerk off? It's gonna be okay. No, it's not gonna be okay, I'm gonna blow up. That's way worse than any form of death. There's not even anything left of me. Just a fucking stain on the floor and a pair of empty Nikes. There's uh, there's worse ways to die. You, you could get raped to death by a rhinoceros. That's worse. That would never happen. I saw it happen to a zebra on the Discovery Channel. It did not look fun. Uh, uh, you could have gotten trampled to death at a Boys to Men concert. <laughs> You'd be like, oh, I'm going to a Boys to Men reunion concert. Oh no, trampled. You know how much y you hate chocolate? What if someone tried to drown you in a, a bunch of chocolate? That would... <laughs> you know how much you hate Altoids? What if someone kidnapped you and they just force-fed you Altoids till you died? That'd be terrible, right? No. But you hate Altoids. What if you were slowly lowered into a volcano while a jam band played a concert? That would be worse. You don't even like Dave Matthews. You'd be like, oh, how do I end up at this Dave Matthews concert? And then, trampled. I don't know, someone could cover you in honey and shove you into a wood chipper. That'd be worse. I mean, could you imagine that? Like, not only going into a wood chipper, but you're covered in honey, it would be very uncomfortable. Maybe you cross some old woman who has the power to put a spell on you and, and she curses you, so you have a swarm of bees that follow you around all the time, and there's just bees that follow you around and sting you all the time, and no one wants to hang out with you more. They're like, oh, Nick's always got bees around him, and so you have these bees and they just drive you to madness, and eventually you just decide to jump into a wood chipper, and, and then you're dead. That, that'd be worse. And then w what if you died after that and you're in heaven? You're like, okay, well, at least I'm in heaven, but then something happens and you're in bee heaven, and there's just bees everywhere, and you're just like, no, poor <laughs> I don't know, some psychos could kidnap you and put you in like a tiny wooden box and like it'd slowly run out of air and then every now and then they'd open it up and they'd all like start coming at you like Aah! and like pour cream corn on your face and then they'd just like start stomping your face and just smudging the cream corn into your face and then they'd put you back in the box and they'd put you up and like, all right, it's over. I'll get it, I'll get it, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. Some psychos could like kidnap you and put you in like a small wooden box and then, you know, every now and then they'd let you out and then they just, they'd just like come at you like Aah! And then they'd just like pour cream corn all over you and then just like stomp your face and just smudge the cream corn into your face and then you're like, oh God. And then they put you back in the box and close it up and you're like, okay, it's over. But then they'd open the box back up and then they'd like cover you in, in like peas or something. And then it's like, oh, what are they putting peas on my face? And then they're just like punching you and putting the peas into your face and they put you back in the box and then you're like, oh God, what's happening? And then they just take you out and throw you into a wood chipper. <laughs> that would be worse, right? But then say, homeboy walks in and he says, hey, I'd like the deluxe tan. That means he wants a tan all over his face and body and no. the back and his bottom of his feet. Guess what? It doesn't mean that. What it means is that he wants a tan and a motherfucking blowjob. Yep. That's what the deluxe tan is? The codes, my friend. And you're the decipherer, dude. You're the goddamn Rosetta Stone of dudes getting off. I'm the code keeper. Yes. Yes. You see how important this job is? Are you with me? Yeah, yeah, I'm with you, man. What if he wants, like, a hard fuck with a dildo? Oh, well, there'll be codes for hard fucks with dildos. There's codes for everything. Missionary, anal, black chicks, a ball suck for a tea bag, facials for, like, fucking three ways, for golden showers, uh, ass to mouth, thumbs up assholes, anything a dude would want in addition to a tan. There's the wet burrito. That's where you get to come on a Mexican girl's face. All right. Guys can get that, and they can also get a tan with that. I'm not gonna do like pee poopy, are we? Yeah, if, if people wanna pay the money, we will, yeah. What if some guy walks in and he's like, I want some fucking bitch to snort my diarrhea? Why would a guy want someone to snort diarrhea now? I'm just saying, are we gonna be ready for that? you have a code for that? Well, we'll make a code for it if someone wants to do that. I don't know who the fuck would want to snort diarrhea. <laughs> Is that what you would like to do? 
No, dude. I'm just saying, people like are into some freaky shit. Are they into freaky shit, or are just you into that freaky I'm shit? I'm not into freaky shit, dude. Who I said would even it... think about snorting diarrhea, honestly? Who goes into a whorehouse and says, who can snort diarrhea? What if a guy comes in, he's like, I want my fucking ass eaten, faggot. I mean, I'm not going to allow any of my workers to be talked to like that, but, you know, there is a code for an ass eating. And what's that code? I want a tan salad. I don't know. Anything. There's a whole library of eccentric codes that we're going to be using. I have all my files at home. How many terms do you think you have that I have to memorize? Oh, it's fucking countless, dude. It's a book of them. What if a major comes in, dude, and he just wants a bunch of free shit? Like free suck fuck. Dude, if the tanning salon is open, the major is six feet under fucking ground. Right, right, right. Which brings me to my second rule. No one fucking comes in that's dead. We don't, the girls don't suck off ghosts or anything that's dead. Okay. This is a classy, clean joint. Yeah, we're alive motherfuckers. Only live motherfuckers, not dead motherfuckers. Hi, here's an interesting movie fact for you. Each frame of the CGI scenes in Jane Cameron's Avatar, 1 24th of a second, took an average of 47 hours to render. Can you believe it? For this and more movie facts, click on more videos. But if you want something else, click on the playlist.